Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, we're going to be using these dice that are not filled with real human teeth that were made for me by Whitney at Smoking Glue Guns. Thanks. Let's get things started with our roll for bread. Two freezer ends. Today, from the depths of my freezer, come two slices of gluten-free bread. It will be nice to get these out of the freezer, but it does mean today's sandwich will be small. We're gonna use our toasting cantrip because the bread is frozen and also in my experience, gluten-free bread is better toasted. And now we have our two little croutons to make a sandwich with. Next up, let's roll for main. Eight, mortadella. Mortadella for the second sandwich in a row. The name mortadella goes back to the Latin word for mortar because of the finely ground pork used to make it. Let's roll for our cheese. One, Carolina Reaper Jack. Unfortunately for me, I still have a little bit of this spicy cheese. Being such a small sandwich, I know I could justify using only one slice of cheese, but I'm not gonna do that. At least this way, it'll run out sooner. Next up, let's roll for roughage. Six green onion and nine pepidou. Grunions have been a popular choice of the dice lately, and I'm honestly fine with it. They generally enhance anything that they're on without adding too strong of a flavor. They should pair quite well with what we have so far and add a nice splash of green. These sweet pecan peppers grown in South Africa are a little sweet, a little spicy, and should be really nice on this sandwich. Not that we really need any more spice, but you know. The dice get what the dice want. At the very least, presentation-wise, this is quite nice. You've got the white cheese with the very green onion and the very red peppers on top of that. It looks nice. All right, let's get wild with our wild magic roll. 17, smoked finishing salt. All right, this is actually quite an interesting mix. This salt will be nice. That little bit of scotch barrel smoke will go nicely with the peppers and with the cheese. And last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. Here we go. 17, salsa matcha. This Mexican version of chili crisp is delicious and not necessarily what I was hoping for for this sandwich, because uh, it's not gonna do anything to cool down the sandwich, adding more chili and oil and it's nice, it's flavorful. It's just, this is gonna be hot. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed up here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together and let's cut it in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. It looks nice. So small and unassuming and pretty to look at. It's like a velvet ant. It's gonna hurt me. Pinky's out. Let's give it a taste. The flavor profile really works nicely here. There's not really anything out of place. I just, that cheese is just too spicy for my preferences. With a mayo or even some soft bread, something to take the edge off might be a little bit better, but I can't complain about the taste. It's interesting, the, the rigid cracker-like structure of the gluten-free bread is almost a plus with this one. It kind of works with the fatty and soft mortadella and cheese. It's interesting. With the pepper and stuff, it's, it's almost like a bruschetta. This one's kind of hard to zero in on. On the one hand, it's quite tasty. On the other hand, it's hurting me and probably will continue to do so throughout the day. I think I'm gonna go with an 8.5 today and I'm gonna call it La Morodante. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. Have a great weekend and I will see you again on Monday.